have you ever given a massage and f- felt that your hands, your hands knew what to do next? It's very kinesthetic, and I think the kinesthetic sense is the most basic sense to us. And I've another, uh, you know, as I kind of call myself a philosopher, I have another thing about that because I have a theory called the kinesthetic basis for language. So this is the theatre of life. It shows your actual intention, the way you walk. You can see everyone's the way, that, and the, your intention is also how you hold yourself. Something I always noticed was, was in London, if I'm in London for a while, I'm much more shy. But somehow if I'm just passing through, I have my rucksack and I'm just going through from somewhere, I'm not really in London at all, then somehow I'm always talking to people more, I don't know. 17, 18, 19 years ago I lived with a guy and I just responded to his advert for a flatmate and uh, he used to go around all the second hand shops buying classical records the old vinyls and selling them to Japanese and he knew some of them that were so good, so perfectly made that you could sell them for like 200 pounds to the Japanese. And he played me this record and he said, tell me what you feel when you listen to the record. And I said, I'm walking up a hill through the pine trees, through pine trees. And he said, yes, this is a record that's called The Pines of Rome by Respighi. Here nice I, finally I come to Rome and my heart feels these, these high pine trees and I'm drawn up into them. Actually, a lot, I, I, the, I, I was born in a family of, of, of art, so my, my dad started the Irish School of Landscape Painting and uh, I went off to do physics for a while, but then I got I'm interested in art. And like my mother, I love to paint trees. The trees, is, I just love the shapes of trees. I came to Rome to do a week of, of uh, dancing, the kind of dance style I like, which is where you dance in contact with something. It's hard to show with nothing to be in contact with, really, or another person is ideal. So you dance around, say this is a person, which is a bit low to be a person. But the person is dancing into you, so the weight of the person comes into you, and uh, you, know, you come into the weight of the, the other person, and so on. You can look it up, you'll have to look it up. Uh, Google contact improvisation. It's the most wonderful, oh it started in the 60s, it's the most wonderful dance style. And it's actually, it's quite a very shamanic to be in the moment, because you're absolutely in the moment. The, when, when, if one body moves against another, then the moment that, you, the moment that I begin this turn, or I, pu- I, I pour my weight, the moment that this weight comes this way, is so crucial, the timing of everything. It's very, it's a very in the moment uh, thing. But for me, all of languages are, are originally rooted in the body because for you know hundreds of thousands of years before we invented these, this literal way of using words as language, we ha- we had body language, and you can you know you, you body language is very very strong. You can someone you don't know very well, and you see them over there, you you can recognise them by the way they walk. You can recognise someone purely from the way they walk, and you can't say how you do that in a literal way, and, and you can't even describe it very easily in words. Now you can tell a lot about me from the, you're probably picking up more about me from the tone of my voice from and that's also a very subtle thing that begins in the diaphragm and it's it's like a wave because you know so, you know a lot of things are both waves and and material or parts particular